So I'm here with my very, very good friend, uh, Pastor Andrew, uh, at the Bethel Junior School in Masese, which is a neighborhood that we minister at Man Up and Go uh, in Jinja town. Jinja is the second largest, right? Second largest? Yeah, in Uganda. Uh, city in Uganda, and we've been here now for five years, uh, going on six years that we've been ministering in this community. And I was just I was just telling you, Pastor Andrew, when we got here, the amazing change. I was just overwhelmed by all the changes. When I first came, the only thing on this whole plot of land was one little tiny building. Yep for the start of a school yeah. and I just can you just share with our uh, supporters and the folks in America the impact that is that you've seen in your ministry over these past few years sure um well first of all we want to thank God what we see here is actually really God's work uh, as he has said for the past five years before we came in here uh, the people in this community they didn't believe in themselves the kids were not going to school, uh, they were going to streets, they were turning into thieves. I mean, a lot of data work was going on here. But for the, first, for the past five years, we've seen a lot of impact. Because right now, we have now in Bethel Junior School 230 kids who are coming to Bethel. Uh, and most of them are being sponsored by uh, Manap and other friends through Manap. Uh, they also, now the community, the kids now, they have an assurance of having a meal every Saturday through the Sat Super Saturday program. When they come here, they are rest assured because in their homes, some of the parents, they throw insults to them. They may say you are useless, you are not valuable, but when they come here every Saturday, it is a place, a center of joy, a center of hope, a center of, uh, you know, having a future. Mm. So the kids are now turning away from the bad behaviors in the community. Their language has changed. They can now praise the Lord. They can now, you know, know how to greet people. They can now worship the Lord. We had an amazing worship service today with the kids. Yeah. And you can tell them, let's lift up our hands to God and they do so. Mm. Let's praise the Lord, they do so. They know it is now God to supply to them. They know Jesus can feed them. So it is really wonderful that the children, uh, their spiritual lives is now bring up. But with the Super Saturday, another impact we've seen, we began with feeding 300 children. That was three years back. And and the Man Up team was on that, like the, I think the very second maybe day, second or third Saturday, Super Saturday you ever did, the Man Up team was here. Yes, for through that. Katie and yes, it yes. was there. Yeah. Now from 300 kids on Saturday, it is amazing the numbers have grown today. The people who are recording, they had uh, 900, but you know what, 900 kids today every Saturday but uh, it is beyond 900 because uh, the, 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 the cooks after cooking they had supply for 900 but they came back for more food so it was close to 1000 oh my goodness now 50 percent of this 900 50 percent of these children they last had their meal yesterday wow. so it is like 50 percent of this could the children the meal they have here on Saturday it is the meal for either within two or three days Wow. So it is a, a program that is really empowering many kids and it is giving them assurance. Wow. Uh, and some of these children, when they come here on Saturday, they come with their bowls or dishes. Mm -hmm. So when we give them a meal, a food, they eat a portion and they take back some of that to their homes. So the parent says, when you go to Bethel, don't eat the food all alone. Please bring some for us. So it's like we are not only feeding 900 children, but we, we are not sure how many parents we are feeding back at home right. in this community. Yeah. So it is a very important um, program that it is helping us to feed the physical needs of the, of the children, but also the spiritual needs of the, of the children and the parents as well. Yeah, and I can say that both of the times that I participate and our teams have participated in Super Saturday, yep. We are worshiping the Lord with these sure, kids. We're sure. teaching them the Bible stories. And sure. those kids in there just now, they knew, most of them knew, they were raising their hands for last 
week's story. They knew the answers to them. Oh, yes. Praise God, right? Yes, we praise the Lord. And so you are teaching them. Yes, you're, you're feeding them physically, but more importantly, you're feeding them spiritually. Exactly. And our prayer is that this community will continue to be changed yeah. through your ministry, which it's, it's being done. Amen. And that's really why we're making this appeal for the Man Up supporters uh, back in America. Uh, the food container that we used um, a while back is, is run out. The meals are completely gone. The, the meals that we use today for the Super Saturday program were actually, uh, we sent money ahead so that they could buy it so that our team could experience what's going on here. Yeah. Um, we have shipped a container already uh, through the generosity of Convoy of Hope. The, the food is free, but the shipping is not. It's about 15,000 US dollars for us to ship this food. Currently, we have no commitments for this food. We believed as a board that God wanted us to do this. We've seen the impact here in this community. And not only that, much of this food, which Andrew didn't even mention, goes to different parts of Uganda. We send actually this food to two other places, two other ministries who are benefiting from the food from this uh, Super Saturday program, also conducting the same spiritual lessons uh, each Saturday. Children are being fed, they're being grown, and there's trust that's being gained in the community because of this. Uh, so we make an appeal to you that if you believe in the work that Manipa Go is doing uh, to reduce the amount of fatherless children in the world, this man is on the front line. <laughs> this man is the reason that that number is actually going down. Uh, and we're just happy to come alongside him. So we praise God and we ask that uh, you support us as God leads you. Um, please let us know um, if you're willing to help. We love you and we thank you.